First, open your selected slideshow in PowerPoint. Select the Slideshow menu and click Record Slideshow. Select where you want to begin recording and make sure the narration checkbox is selected. Click Start Recording and do your thing. Note that you may pause and resume recordings as needed. And the slideshow and your PowerPoint file will now have remembered all of your slide timings and narration. You can review your narration by clicking the little sound icon on each slide and re-record for each slide as necessary. When you have everything like you like it, click the file menu and select save and send. Then click record a video. Review the settings and it's important to make sure PowerPoint will use your recorded timings and narration. Then click create video. Tell PowerPoint where to save the file and in a couple of minutes you're ready to upload to YouTube. Now for those of you that are diehard Mac users, uh, let's take a look at what you can do in Apple's presentation software, Keynote. First, open your completed slideshow in Keynote. Select the play menu and click record slideshow. When you're ready, click the record button at the bottom of the screen and do your thing. Note that you can pause and resume the recording as needed. When you're done, stop the recording and exit the slideshow by clicking the X in the upper right corner. You can review your recording by selecting the play menu and clicking play recorded slideshow. When you're all set, go to file, export to, and select QuickTime. Make sure to play back your recorded slideshow and select the resolution quality you want. Tell Keynote where to save the file and in a couple of minutes, you're ready to upload to YouTube. Of course, there are many other ways to create video, and if you're interested in doing something else, I can help with that too. For now, let's conclude by demonstrating how to upload your video to YouTube. First, log into YouTube with your class login provided by Dr. Lou. Once you're logged in, click Upload in the upper right corner of the screen. You may then drag and drop or otherwise select your video file. As your video is uploading, be sure to rename the video and change any other settings that Dr. Lou might prefer. Give YouTube some time to upload and process the video, and you're all set. Hopefully, this will help you complete the assignment. Uh, let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Email me at bo-baker at utc.edu with any questions or to schedule an appointment. Good luck!